Cholesterol is a funny thing. Cholesterol is necessary. Everybody thinks cholesterol is bad because they've heard it causes heart disease. Cholesterol is absolutely necessary. If you need cholesterol, you need cholesterol for membranes, you need cholesterol for steroids. Cholesterol is so essential that our body has a method for manufacturing it out of nothing, out of glucose for that matter. So cholesterol gets a bad rap. And the reason is because there are actually multiple cholesterols. There's LDL, there's HDL, and then there's this other one that's not really uh, an LDL at all. It's called triglyceride, but it goes along with it because it's VLDL. And it's got some cholesterol in it. It's not the one that matters. It's the pattern of all of them together that matter. And this is where doctors need to basically go back to med school because all this stuff has changed really in the last 10 years, and your doctor may not know it. LDL has always been thought of as the bad guy. High LDL, oh, you need a statin. Well, there are two LDLs, there's not one, there's two. One's called large buoyant and one's called small dense. They are not the same, except that the LDL assay measures both at the same time. So the lab test says they're the same, but they're not the same. Large buoyant LDL is cardiovascularly neutral, and it's the one that dietary fat raises. So dietary fat turns out to not be very important in terms of cardiovascular disease. Small dense, on the other hand, is very important. Small dense turns out to be the atherogenic particle, or at least an evolution of the atherogenic particle called remnant cholesterol. And small dense can get under the surface of the endothelial cell in the arteries and start the foam cell formation process that leads to the plaque, that leads to the heart disease. And it's more easily oxidized because it's smaller. And so it's the bad guy in the story. And what raises your small dense LDL? Well, the same thing that raises your triglyceride because that's the thing that gets turned into the small dense LDL. That's sugar. So sugar is the driver of the LDL fraction that generates the heart disease. Dietary fat is not. And then we have HDL. And HDL, for the most part, is good. The higher the HDL, the better off it is. And the reason is because that's also an evolutionary output of LDL once the cholesterol is offloaded, and then that comes back to the liver to be reloaded. So basically, the HDL is a shuttle mechanism, and so the higher the HDL, the better the shuttle mechanism is working.